sad thing is that uh, it's one thing to forget about color when you put on your physics hat. It's, in fact, necessary. That's how phys physics originates from that blindness. What is sad is if you carry that blindness over to your normal life, then you become a materialist, and in a sense, you talk nonsense. And not only do you talk nonsense, but you can't recognize that this is nonsense. And this is more or less where the intellectual elite of the Western world stands now, that uh, they uh, take the physical universe to be real, and the corporeal world is then what Descartes called a res cogitans, a thing of the mind. And this is what Whitehead called bifurcation, and he spent maybe 30 years of his life going around to all the universities in Europe and America, uh, trying to explain to the people how, how wrong this is, how actually foolish. But the strange thing is that very few people uh, got the message. And in fact, uh, anyone who tries to explain to a physicist the idea of bifurcation will to his disappointment learn that the likelihood is 99.9 .9, that the physicist won't understand a word he's saying. Because this bifurcationist and therefore spurious metaphysics is so ingrained in the mind of a physicist, and you know that's understandable because you can't do physics until you bifurcate. It is this bifurcation that in a sense creates the physical universe, and that's what the physicist is there to understand. That's what he thinks about morning, noon, at night, until he regains a normal state of mind when again the grass is green. But while he's doing physics, the grass is not green. While he's doing physics, he is bifurcationist. He's a Cartesian. And so he sees only a part of the world. And incidentally, this is what makes the whole enterprise, in a sense, unwholesome, because man was not put here on Earth to put on blinders and uh, actually uh, shut off the better half of the world. What the physicist casts out by his very, his very modus operandi is in fact the creme de la creme. I mean, the, the world of color and sound and all these innumerable things that poets think about, I mean, sing about and uh, artists paint. Uh, this is all blocked out. As soon as you put on a physics hat, this no longer exists. And what, uh, th what the tragedy is that many physicists, if not most, after doing physics for a good length of time, they forget that the so-called physical universe uh, is, not, is not the whole thing. And so in a sense, they are split in two. I mean, the human part of the physicist is always there. I mean, we breathe and we feel pain and so on. Might even feel love. But uh, officially, we are Democritian. We know only atoms and the wo void. It's a terrible disease. And it's a disease which uh, can infect not, not only individuals, it can infect infect the whole society. And this is what I have been trying to express in all my writings, that we, the modern contemporary West, are a sick society. 
you just watched a clip from the Theories of Everything channel. For the full video and all its magnificence, then click here. And if you'd like to see more, then subscribe. Enjoy.